Welcome back to Classic Game Room, and we were just discussing that popular video game characters can do just about anything. They can platform, they can drive carts, they can break the law, and they can play sports. How about Sonic the Hedgehog and tennis, TJ? Is that worth playing here in Sega Superstars Tennis? Well, tennis is certainly a sport, though it's kind of befuddled me why. Because it's like Pong, but you also get some more exercise. That is true. Unless you're sitting on your couch making ooh-la-la get all the exercise and you're just shoveling down, you know, cheese curls or whatnot. But you probably just sold 5,000 copies of this game right now to anyone who knows who ooh-la-la is. Yes. Actually, I did. <laughs> she can dance and she can play tennis. Now, what is Sega Superstars Tennis on? It is on the PS2, PS3, Wii, DS, and Xbox 360. And what's the version that we're watching here? This would be the 360 version. Is it worth playing? If you like tennis. Frankly, I'm not a huge fan of the sport, but when you've got the kid from Jet Grind Radio and the freaky looking monkey thing from Samba de Amigo playing doubles, really, that's all the impetus you need. Now, how does the game play? Obviously, this is an arcade style tennis game, and we know that Sega makes excellent arcade-style games. Is it worth playing? I found the controls to be a little bit fluffy, a little bit inaccurate. Some of the timing seemed a little bit out of whack, for lack of a better term. But it was certainly a fun time, especially when you're playing on the Space Channel 5 court, and you can hear that fantastic soundtrack. See, I'm so used to having Virtua in front of their sports titles, and I actually really like the Virtua Tennis yeah. series. Would you recommend Sega Superstars Tennis to fans of the Virtua Tennis games? Well, there's certainly a whole lot more breadth of experience here. Especially when you can, you know, give all of these colorful, fanciful tennis worlds a miss, and just go directly into the House of the Dead. Yes, there is a House of the Dead court. And mini-games! Since if you're going to have a very accessible game like this, you're going to have to have mini-games in there in one fashion or another. In this case, those mini-games include some weird monkey ball hit them through the gate with your serve kind of weirdness thing. And the tennis of the dead. Everything should have an of the dead, typing of the dead, the pinball of the dead. And now, the tennis of the day. So basically, you've got a lot of options. There's a wide variety of game consoles that this is available for, and this is a 2008 release. So it's 2008. It's a couple years old now as we're recording this, so you can easily pick up a used copy, and I'm sure the price has been marked down quite a bit. These don't hold their value like some of the other ones. No, but it's still got plenty of interesting features, lots of worlds to traverse, lots of characters to unlock, including Alex Kidd and the dude from Golden Axe, as well as online play, plenty of mini-games if you just want to entertain small children for a period of time, and it's got the dude from Knights. Throw him a bone. It, knights. I feel bad for the Saturn. But the Saturn lives on here on Classic Game Room. Really? I have yet to be furnished with a copy of Shining Force 3. Yes! So there you have it. Sega Superstars Tennis, if for no other reason, you can play as Ulala from Space Channel 5. And Pudding. <laughs>